guys, Ray Jolly here. In this video, I'm gonna break down exactly what you need to look for when buying a PC for streaming in the most basic way possible. Let's go. First up, we have the graphics card. This is in charge of giving you those sweet, sweet graphics during gaming. Both Nvidia, AMD, and Intel graphics cards are viable choices, but there's something extra to consider when it comes to streaming. That's encoding. Nvidia has a neat feature on their cards for encoding called NVENC. It's a dedicated part of your GPU just for encoding your stream. You absolutely want to opt to use this instead of encoding via your CPU, because your CPU already does a ton of different things. More on that in just a second. Both AMD and Intel GPUs also have a similar feature. However, Nvidia stormed the market with their version and targeted us streamers hard. So a lot of programs favor NVENC over any other option but ultimately it's your choice. Whatever you decide, put the largest amount of budget on your GPU to ensure that you have a great graphical experience. Next up, the CPU. Your CPU is your component responsible for handling tasks on your PC, like your game, encoding your streams, and juggling alerts, chat boxes, and other sources. Depending on how many elements it has to deal with, everything can be easily gobbled up. The higher the thread and core count, the more your PC can handle at once, and the better it'll perform with multiple tasks at the same time, aka streaming. Because of this, you'll see a lot of pre-built budget streaming PCs feature an AMD CPU, because it has a high core count and thread ratio, but for a low, low price. If you want to push the boat out a little bit more, Intel CPUs are superb in terms of performance. Next up is your motherboard, and this tends to be the component that a lot of people cheap out on. Don't. Unknowingly to you, this will restrict your features and upgradability in the future. As a streamer, you're going to want to look at a couple things when choosing a motherboard. Number one, the number of USBs it has. Number two, the number of PCIe slots it has. As streamers, we use a stupid amount of USB devices. And so choosing a motherboard that only has four USB slots on the back of the board mean that you will have to, at some point, invest in a USB hub if not almost immediately. Think of your mouse, your keyboard, your headset, your webcam, your microphone, that's five already. Secondly, PCIe slots allow you to use faster SSDs and internal capture cards like the Elgato 4K Capture. Limiting yourself at this stage for the sake of budget could cost you a lot more in the long run and cause you a bit of a hardware headache. Next up, RAM. RAM is massively important to get correct right off the bat. It's the founder of the meme, just download more RAM, and it was born for this very reason. You should purchase smartly. Look for RAM that's been chosen to work alongside your CPU and motherboard. For example, certain RAM is officially certified to work with specific AMD CPUs, which means it's been designed carefully and tested to ensure that it works the very, very best that it can. Whatever you go for, make sure it's a high clock speed and works alongside your CPU. Next up, Storage. Storage-wise, you have a couple of options. SATA solid-state drives, cheap but slow. M.2 NVMe SSDs, fast but expensive, ish. I'd recommend purchasing an M.2 NVMe SSD drive, which slots inside your motherboard because they're super quick, super speedy, makes boot up times and load times extremely quick. Then, an additional SATA SSD drive for bulky things like documents, pictures, and games that you might play on the odd occasion, but you don't really need to rely on the speeds, and you get a lot more storage for your money compared to an M.2. This is the most flexible part of your setup though, so don't stress if you can't fit it into your budget. You can definitely upgrade down the line, so long as you get a good motherboard to begin with. Lastly, your power. Please, 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 do not undercut your PC power resource. Depending on which GPU you pick depends on the baseline of your power resource that you need. This information will be given to you on your GPU's product page, and I say baseline because we, as streamers, need more power than the average PC user. We love our USB devices. My advice would be to check the baseline and go up by one. So if your GPU calls for a 500 watt, go to 700 watt and pick a pretty decent brand like Corsair, for example. One last piece of advice is if you're buying a pre-built PC, just know that there is a big but subtle difference between streaming PCs and gaming PCs. A gaming PC will most likely prioritize a good GPU over a CPU, 
and a streaming PC will balance the GPU and the CPU, making them equal relative to performance. So keep that in mind. Finally, if you're looking to venture into PC building, take a look at our huge range of PC components over on our website, scan.qdk. Or if building isn't for you, I don't blame you, take a look at our pre-built PCs designed and crafted by our 3XS experts and take advantage of our incredible award-winning customer service and warranty. I really hope this video helped, and if it did, make sure to let me know in the comments below and follow us on socials at ScanGaming and myself at RageDarling for more. We'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.